Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching my first uh, vlog style video. Um, been doing a few shooting videos, haven't posted anything just for personal stuff and they looked okay. Um, but my brother, he's doing Sea Cory's World, a little skateboarding thing mainly, but we went and did a fishing trip and he recorded it and watched it and it was pretty cool. Well, a couple funny times and it'd be cool to watch that again when a little older. So, he told me to borrow some of his cameras and try doing my own. Um, so, we're going to go shooting tomorrow. IDPA match. Um, local match up here, not sanctioned or anything. Uh, I'm going to shoot ESP, Enhanced Service Pistol. I shoot a MP uh, 9mm now. It's originally a 40. Um, we got to do some reloading so we can shoot tomorrow. Unfortunately, at 11 at night. So, kind of procrastinates. So we'll get to reloading here and uh, then we'll probably just go to bed and we'll be shooting in the morning. So see you around. It's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed for slowing down to take a look at me. Come on, baby, don't say maybe. I gotta know if your sweet love is gonna save me. We may lose and we may win, but we will never be here again. So Welcome, everybody. This is uh, WDSA's IDPA match. We run it every third Saturday of the month. Uh, ear and eye protection are required at all times. Are you ready? Stand by. On. If you're finished, unload choke. Gamer, are you ready? Stand by. Stage one didn't go too bad. Uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Um, on the right array of targets that we started with, uh, you had to shoot everybody once before you could shoot anybody another, which is tactical sequence. Um, missed that shot on that still plate, so I was gonna re-engage it, but that hostage swinger was swinging all around, and if I would've shot when I wanted to, it probably would've hit the hostage. So I continued on, went back, hit the still, continued through. Uh, 11 rounds on the gun, 11 shots on that first foray. Well, I missed one, so I had to reload when I didn't want to. Um, you don't plan on messing up when you're doing your, your little stage brief in your head before you shoot. Um, so that throws me off sometimes. I need to get a little better at powering through that part. Um, the other issue I had on that stage was on the reload. Uh, usually on the MMP, if I slam that mag home, the slide will just go forward. Makes nice reload. Um, so as you've seen, I you know slam the mag in there, go to push out, and the slide's not forward. So I pull in and I fumble with it. Um, then you know shoot that guy, go to the left array, and the left array went pretty pretty good. Um, something I try to do for a little advantage on this stage is sh every, most everybody started in the center of that table, shot, and then when you went to the left side, you had to kind of shuffle over there. Well, I just held left side of the table, made sure. I was in cover, um, and then when I had to go shoot the left side, all I had to do was move my upper body. My lower body could stay there. Um, I might have moved my lower a little bit, but it wasn't much. Um, and that's, you can call that gaming a stage if you want, but anybody who plays IUDPA or shoots IDPA and they're fast and they win, they're gamers. Um, if you wanted to play IDPA to its true principle, you'd be really slow. So, yeah. stand by. Holy shit! It would have been. Stand by.
So stage two, visually, mentally, missingly, whatever, was probably the worst stage. Um, you start with that bowling pin in your hand, you had to tap or hit both the poppers there with the bowling pin, um, run up to the barrel, and then shoot the array. This stage was made to go fast, and I tried to go too fast, and that's why I didn't do very well. Should have pulled back just a little bit instead of just pushing. Um, time to push is when you're practicing or shooting, you know, pins and plates and stuff like that. Uh, you need to hold back just a little bit on a stage like this, at least I think, or you're just going to blow it like I did. Um, not much to say on this one other than it was garbage. Uh, the only advantage thing I guess that helped was most everybody, you know, tapped the one and then tapped the other popper with the pin. I just tapped the one and threw it at the other. Uh, luckily that worked because if that would have missed, that would have been even worse. So we'll just go to stage three. Stand by. Stage three is actually the stage that we started the day with, at least our squad, um, and I was the first shooter. Uh, there was a few people that were in line to shoot before me, but they were all new shooters, so lucky me. Um, visually, after watching that video, you're probably thinking, oh, that was pretty good. Um, now, the rules got me on this stage. Uh, the rules cost me the match on this stage, and it's all my own fault, nobody else's. Uh, you, you started facing up range like you've seen, uh, turn and grab the gun, shoot those targets. Uh, I got a procedural here, because you're supposed to shoot them one-handed. You were driving the school bus, I guess at that time you're trying to pull it over safely while you're shooting people. So you can't just let go of the steering wheel. Uh, and then moving from position one to position two, uh, I just went and reloaded in between. We started the stage with six rounds on the gun, um, so you would have to reload there. and. You can't cross an opening with an unloaded gun in IDPA. So, speed wise, you know, reload while you're crossing the opening, but for IDPA, it cost me three second procedural there as well. Um, and then on that last target um, on position two, you can see the hostage behind the, the, good, the bad guy there. And, you know, I snuck one in there that went, hit the bad guy in the zero, but it hit the, hit the good guy as well. So, that stage, I think, cost me 15 seconds in penalties. Um, I lost the whole match by 10, so that stage could have could have got it for me. But those things happen, and luckily it's just a local match. So, on to stage four. Are you ready? Stand by. So stage four went good, uh, a couple little brain farts, but nothing too bad. Um, on the beginning, it was tactical sequence again, so you have to shoot everybody once before anybody gets another one, which is two targets. Um, they didn't count the steel this time like they did on stage one. Um, so I shot the first guy, shot the second guy. Normally you just do one, two, one, and it'd be the fastest. Well, I did one, one, I did do two, but I went to go back to do the other one and then went you know that's not as fast unfortunately it would have been the same because I had the brain fart there um, and then the next two targets after the steal uh, you shoot those on the move was the stage brief um, normally at EPA you use every cover available so you should have shot those behind that barrel but they want us to shoot them while moving that went fine um, the next position uh, I shoot the one round and then you see me look at the gun like what's going on well for some reason I'd only loaded 10, I missed my 11 mag, so the other mag must have been the 11 mag to start the, the, the stage with. Uh, they didn't catch that I guess, I asked everybody, you know, that was weird and I should have got a procedural for it, but then one guy said I'd shot one of the targets three times instead of twice and I didn't see that in the video and I didn't think it did um, during the stage either. Um, so I had that funky reload, shot him, uh, shot the swinger. A little, I, I get a little cautious on the swingers because um, I, I miss them sometimes. Uh, so popped him twice, hit the other guy twice, and went back to the swinger. Um, I think it's a good thing I did because once we went and looked um, to score the targets, there was only two hits in that swinger. 
So whether I missed them on the last shot and wasted some time or I got on the last shot, either way, uh, I felt good about that decision. So pretty good stage uh, on stage five. Shooter ready. Stand by. So stage five went good. Um, again, a couple brain farts. I have them all the time. I need to get over those. Uh, but right when the buzzer went off, grabbed the gun, wanted to stand up and shoot. No, you got to be sitting down to shoot that first target. So I kind of pop up, but then I get right back down and shoot him. Um, as I go around that table, I, I felt like I was falling, and that's where that grunt came from. Um, but didn't look bad in the video, so I guess it didn't fall as much as I thought. Um, everything seems slower when, when I'm shooting. Like if I have a bad reload or if I have some weird hesitation moments, it always feels like it takes way longer than it really does. Um, so that's where my my moaning comes in in some of these videos thinking I'm just sucking it up when really it's not too bad so get to that wall shoot that guy it's good I had quite a bit of hesitation to that next target and I don't remember why um, and then as I go through the running gun little part um, I could have done two 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 uh, but the problem is you, you, you got your bay and you got 180 degrees to that bay um, if you and it moves with you as you go forward well if you break that line you're disqualified so I didn't want to get too far ahead of me and have to swing on that target. Even though the target B-180 to me, it might be outside of that bay um, safety zone. So I figure I'll just go one for one. Uh, it went good. The reload was fine. And then the last two targets, I hesitated a little bit. Um, not bad, but I'm not sure why I did that either. Maybe the hard cover in my mind, um, I didn't want to hit it. So sometimes slowing down a little bit helps. Sometimes you can just go fast uh, most of those one shot targets I wasn't even looking you're close enough if, if your guns pointing there you're probably gonna get a zero um, or if you get one point down that's half a second you know uh, it's not that big a disadvantage if you get a one point down either it may not have been if you would have slowed down a little made sure you got that zero it's about sixes so uh, on to stage six are you ready Are you ready? Stand by. <laughs> Almost didn't go over. So stage six went well. Still could have been just a hair better. Um, I did take first on this stage, but I still think it could have improved. Um, you know, right off the bat, as you've seen, I'm kind of leaning. You had a spot you had to start, and I'm just going to start ready to shoot those targets. I'm not going to start trend straight up, draw, and then move to cover. I'm just going to already be there ready to shoot. Um, so those first two went well. Creeping up that wall, there was the gap with the two hardcover targets that just the head was exposed. Um, it took one shot each for the heads and then there was another target on the ground you had to shoot two. Um, I shoot that first guy and, and I'm looking to make sure I'd hit it. Uh, had that hole in that head um, and then I shot the next one and then just went to the low one and then while I was shooting the low one I'm double checking making sure I got that other guy in the head. I'd rather trust my shot but on a target like that where it's one shot, it's a smaller area, you don't have much much missing zone. I'd rather, I guess, take that little bit of time to make sure I had it. Um, I'm used to shooting my 45 1911 that was semi wad cutters, and when you shoot those targets with those, it makes a huge hole. It's you don't gotta look for it; it's right there. So I'm shooting this nine now, and when you're used to looking for this gaping hole you could fit a 747 through, uh, it's a little different looking through that little hole. Uh, last target shot him fine. The reholster was a little slow. Normally IDPA you don't reholster. Um, three gun about the only one you really do and then you're not wearing your cover garment anyway um, and then went to pick up the shotgun uh, 
the shotgun, I shoot shotgun pretty good, so that went fine. Uh, the last, the third steel plate, as you've seen it fall slowly, I barely nicked that. Probably one pellet hit it, and thankfully it did, because you had to put the shotgun back down, redraw your pistol, and shoot. Um, now, if you couldn't put the shotgun down, redraw your pistol, and shoot that in five seconds, you, sh you could have just stopped then, because a miss on that is five seconds. So, if you want points, or do you want to hit everything, or not points, time, sorry, um, that's up to you, personal decision, uh, yeah. So, overall, this match went well, um, the local match, we do them once a month, they're fun, we help, I help set up, tear down, I'm an RO, um, and being an RO, you know, at first, I thought, this, this helps, because you're watching everybody run it, you're paying more attention, you know, setting up the stage and all that, and then now I'm to the point where our own actually takes a, di uh, it's a disadvantage, because I've, I've ran nine people through a stage, and then it's my turn, and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? I didn't get to stand there and think about what I was going to do. Um, it does help with the procedural stuff sometimes, because I've watched other guys do it or whatever, and that's why I think stage three, I just blew. Um, overall, took fourth place, uh, which was 10 seconds, just, maybe just a hair over. 10 something but 10 seconds slower than first um, Nick Parker was first and he usually gets first in our matches um, I wouldn't be as good as I was if it wasn't for Nick because he's always beaten me so I'm trying to keep up with him um, we don't always get to shoot on the same squad so when we do I think we're closer times where if I get to shoot with my little squad and he shoot with his then he usually smokes me because I'm not maybe learning from him or or trying to push as hard because I didn't just watch him do it. Um, so I'm hoping these videos maybe help you if you're shooting IDPA or any kind of match, you know, my little brain farts maybe help you think about something. Um, if not, I might still do these because actually watching this and talking about it I think will help me improve. Um, so yeah, so we got a still match this weekend. Uh, I'll probably video, it won't be, I probably won't have these little review after, maybe, or they won't be as in-depth because it's just going to be, here's this, you stand here and you shoot these, and you move here and you shoot these, so there's not going to be much advantage, disadvantage, um, or technical thinking, it's just going to be shoot. Um, I'm going to shoot my revolver because I'm a glutton for punishment, it is an 8-shot revolver, but everybody else is going to be shooting full capacity, you know, 17, 18 round magazines, so I'm going to have a whole bunch of reloading to do, so... I uh, hope this video wasn't too bad. Again, it's my first one, so we'll make some more and see how it goes. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I would say my name, but I, well, Joe Randall, but I don't have a channel name yet, so we'll figure that out soon, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys.